Did you know that God is the creator of intelligence? But he's not the one that always gives you those imaginations. Pay attention to what scripture says here in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 8. The theme of today's video is this. Don't trust in your own imaginations. Trust the Lord. Look what the Bible says. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. Have you ever seen an elderly person that walks with a cane? They don't have the strength to walk in their own strength. So they have something that they lean on. They have something that they put their support on. See, the problem is that a lot of people don't understand that we're living in this fallen state. We were created in God's image. Yes, we were created perfect, blameless, flawless, sinless. But we are no longer like that because of the sin that Adam ushered into this world. But when people try to lean on their own understanding, they're like an elderly person that doesn't have the strength to walk physically. But they want to continue to try and they're stumbling and falling when they just need to lean on something. But what we need to lean on is not our own strength, not our own efforts, not our own cunning. What we need to lean on is the word of God, the wisdom of God. So the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean in your own understanding. You know what's going to happen when we try to lean in our own understanding? We're going to fall flat on our face. That's what's going to happen. Look what verse 6 says. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your straight paths. In other words, if you acknowledge the Lord in your life, your life might be the most crooked path that there is. But when you start to acknowledge the Lord, he begins to make those crooked paths straight. Now, keep paying attention because after this, I'm going to read something from the book of Ezekiel. That's going to show us exactly what happened to the devil when he was in heaven and how he was perfect. But then he started trusting in his own wisdom and why he was cast down. So pay attention because I'm going to read that right after this proverb. So he says this, be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. Don't be wise in your own eyes, but respect the Lord. Turn away from evil. There's people who think, oh, I don't need to change. No, I don't need to change the, the course of my life. Everything's going good. No, the Bible says fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. Do you know that it's an evil thing to trust in our own human cunning? It's an evil thing because we're saying, God, I know more than you. Lord, I know better than you. So if you're a person that can recognize, man, I've been living arrogantly. I've been living pridefully. I've been living trusting in my own strengths. If that's you, repent and start to lean on the Lord. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. There's a lot of people that are going through so much stress, so much anxiety, so much depression. But the Bible says when you start leaning on the Lord, it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. In other words, you're even going to feel it physically it's going to begin to strengthen you even physically you're not going to be so anxious anymore you're not going to be so angry anymore you're not going to be so hopeless anymore can you imagine that it's even going to start to affect you physically but let's continue to read i want to show you something that happened to the devil in the book of ezekiel chapter 28 verse 12 through 17 pay attention we're talking about not leaning in our own understanding even the devil started leaning in his own understanding and he was cast down from heaven look what the bible says son of man raise a lamentation over the king of tyre and say to him thus says the lord so there is a king that started getting arrogant against god so what god is telling ezekiel he's saying hey prophesy to that king and tell him the story tell him the story of the devil because this king i established him but now he's getting prideful now he's getting arrogant Tell him what I did to the devil. And look what God did to the devil. Look what he says about the devil when he was in heaven. You were a signet of perfection. He used to be perfect, blameless, flawless. He says you were a signet of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect beauty. Can you imagine that? Full of wisdom. The devil still has intelligence, but he used to have wisdom. See, wisdom is skillful living. Intelligence just means you're intelligent. But now the devil uses his intelligence for evil. But he used to be wise. But look what happens. He says this. You were in the garden of Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardias, the topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, and carbuncle. And crafted in gold were your settings and your engravings. On the day that you were created, they were prepared. You know what God is saying? I created the devil perfect. I created him with all type of beauty and splendor and wonder. He didn't have an excuse. He wasn't missing out on anything. But look what happened. He says, you were an anointed guardian cherub. He was a high-ranked angel. I placed you. You were on the holy mountain of God in the midst of the stones of fire. You walked. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created until unrighteousness was found in you. He was perfect until unrighteousness was found in him. 
He stopped trusting in the wisdom that God gave him. Do you know that God has given you wisdom? But when we choose to reject the wisdom of God, the word of God, the Holy Spirit's conviction, when we choose to reject God's wisdom, we're acting just like the devil acted. And look what happens here. In the abundance of your trade, you were filled with violence in your midst and you sinned. He started leaning on his own understanding. He started trusting in his own unrighteousness. And what did that do? It caused him to sin. And look what the Bible says. So I cast you as a profane thing from the mountain of God, and I destroyed you. O guardian chariot from the midst of the stones of fire, your heart was proud because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of splendor. He corrupted his wisdom for the sake of splendor. What does splendor mean? Like his luxuries, his own his own sensualities, his own pleasures, his own reasonings, his own desires. He got God's wisdom. He grabbed it and he corrupted it. He twisted and used it in his own ways. He manipulated it. In other words, he crafted it into something that he wanted it to be because of his own desires. That's exactly what a lot of people are doing nowadays. They're grabbing God's word and they're manipulating it just to fit their own desires. But God is telling you in this video today, don't do that. Don't trust in your own imaginations. Lean on the Lord. Don't trust in your own plans. Trust the Lord. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Learn from the devil what happened to him in the book of Ezekiel. He says this, I cast you to the ground. I expose you before kings to feast their eyes on you so that kings could look at what happened to the devil and so that they can learn. He was anointed. He was higher ranked. He was amazing. He was created perfect. But when he got prideful towards God, God grabbed them and cast them down. And he said, I placed you before kings so that they can see your life and so that they can learn from that. See, kings are supposed to learn from the devil. Leaders are supposed to learn from the devil. Fathers and mothers are supposed to learn from the devil. How are we supposed to learn from the devil? By seeing where he used to be and seeing what he started doing wrong. He started trusting in his own understanding. And even though he was in a high, high place and was super anointed, because he started trusting in his own understanding, he was cast down. That's what we need to learn. How trusting in our own understanding will make us fall. The Bible says, before the fall comes pride. When we start getting prideful, when we start getting arrogant, when we start thinking that we're the wisest person in the room, when we start leaning in our own understanding, we're going to be like that elderly person that I open up with the video. An elderly person that doesn't have the strength to walk and they don't want to use a cane. They're going to fall down. We're going to fall down when we try to lean on our own understanding. But when we trust in the Lord, we're going to be blessed. That's what I want to tell you. Trust in the Lord. It's going to be a blessing for your life. It's going to be a blessing for every area of your life. The Bible says it will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. So humble yourself. If you were living a life trusting in your own understanding, humble yourself. Trust the Lord. Tell him, Father, forgive me. I've been leaning in my own understanding, but I took this lesson. I've learned from what you did to the devil, how he was in a high place, but because of his own corruption, he corrupted his intelligence. You cast him down, Lord. Lord, I don't want to be cast down. I want to walk in your grace. I want to walk in your mercy. Repent and God will forgive you. I hope this video was a blessing to your life. If it was, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I post weekly videos that I hope and pray will be a great encouragement to your life. And also, if you want to show your appreciation for this video, you can do so by a feature at the bottom of the screen called Super Thanks. Those are greatly appreciated. Those are always a great blessing to my life. And also check out the link in the description. It's about channel memberships. Those are also a great blessing to my life. God bless you. I'll see you soon, Lord willing. Have a blessed day.